NBC 10 News starts now. Right now at five, a rare bipartisan agreement on gun safety comes together on Capitol Hill. But not everyone is convinced it will help the gun violence crisis in Philadelphia. Thanks for being with us this afternoon. I'm Tracy Davidson. I'm Jacqueline London. The group of senators agreed on a deal over the weekend as thousands across the country protested for new gun laws. The plan includes incentives for states to set up so-called red flag laws. It makes major investments in mental health, suicide prevention, and school safety. It also prevents domestic violence offenders from purchasing guns and sets up a mandatory review of juvenile and mental health records for gun buyers under 21. NBC 10's Johnny Archer spoke to gun owners in Philadelphia about the deal. He joins us live now from Callow Hill. Johnny. Yeah, Jackie and Tracy, we spoke to folks here at the gun range in Philadelphia off of Spring Garden about what they think about this deal. We asked if they think it would work, if it would not work, or if it's not enough. That South Street shooting a few days ago just literally proved why I should have got a trap in the first place. It was because, you know, it's all this gun violence in Philadelphia. Like, it's like a war zone out there, you know. Jeremy Lopez lives in Philadelphia and is in the process of getting his license to carry a gun. Two weekends ago, he lost his friend Chris Minners to gun violence. Chris was killed in the mass shooting on South Street. And this is not the first time I woke up in the beginning of June and finding out I lost a friend. So it was just like, like, damn, like, again, like. On Sunday, key senators in Washington, D.C. announced the framework to bipartisan gun legislation that includes support from 10 Republicans, including Pennsylvania Senator Pat Toomey. Part of the deal includes red flag laws and enhancing background checks on gun buyers, investments in mental health services, and stricter penalties on straw purchases. Lopez thinks the reform is a good thing. It's definitely more of a good thing. Like, they should always be more, like, vigilant on things like that. Not, it's definitely not everyone should get a weapon, but... I close the deli. You know, I don't live there, so I got to go home at night, you know, and you never know. You always got to watch your back left and right, like, all around. Eric Chur owns a deli in North Philly and is looking to get a gun because of the recent violence in the city. He doesn't think gun reform will solve America's problems. Because at the end of the day, you can go in a corner and you can talk to someone. If someone don't know, they know somebody else that is selling illegal weapons, you know? Like, but, like, you can't really do nothing about that. Like, it's really hard to put a stop because once you put a stop to somebody, it's always going to be someone else. It's always going to be a bigger fish, you know? What's not in the deal, a ban on assault weapons, something President Biden wants to see. We spoke to Robert Hawkins and his daughter who were practicing at the gun range at 10th and Spring Garden. What are your thoughts about assault weapons in the general public? Well, we don't need them. We don't need assault weapons. There's no reason. We're not at war. So certainly mixed opinions about gun reform in the United States. NBC News reports that Democratic negotiators plan to have the bill written by this week, have the Senate vote on it within the next two weeks, and then have it on the president's desk by the end of July or early August. In Callow Hill, Johnny Archer, NBC 10 News.